Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kotiwada. In this video, we will learn about response headers and what is the purpose of response headers in our applications. So in general, when we have to use this response headers. The response headers are mainly used whenever you want to capture some sort of data which has passed in our responses of the API, then you can use this response headers. For a real time example, whenever you download an Excel file, you will be getting complete file in your data response. But to give a name for that and if you want that name from the backend then that particular property they will insert in our response headers and we have to capture that file name before downloading and then we can create the file with that particular name. This is the real time which we can see in some of our applications. Now how to get this response headers? So that we will see in this video and let me quickly jump into visual studio code and here I'll create one service for us. So let me go here and create a service that is nothing but ng generate API service with a skip tests and I want to create a service. So ng generate s for service hit enter. So it creates a service file for us. So let me go into this service and inside this service let me inject a HTTP client. So to inject that HTTP client we have to insert a HTTP module that is client module in our app module so let me go here and use http client module and this module does not exist and it is not showing any intelligence for that sake let me use import and i will import from at the rate angular slash common slash http and this will receive a value called as http client module and i have inserted this client module so let me go into the service Inside this service, I'll use something called as HTTP client and this is of type HTTP client and equal to inject and I want to inject some file called as HTTP client service. So let me use HTTP client with a capital letter that is a class name which is given by Angular HTTPs. So now I have created this service and this service variable should be private why because we don't want to expose this http client so let me create a method called as get to do's and what this has to do is this has to return an observable that is a get api and which is of any type and now let me return a http service call so let me use this dot http client dot get of and i want to get the url let me get the url from the browser let me go here json placeholder to do's so let me copy this and put it over here so now let me use a caller for this particular function so let me go into app.ts and now let me create a constructor and inside the constructor i want to call that particular api now let me go with api service and this service is a type of api service which I can use to inject our API service and I have created this service by using inject method even you can use the dependency injection where you can use a constructor for injecting this particular service but as the latest versions we are using inject method that is the best approach I feel so let me go here and use this dot API service dot get to do's dot subscribe and let me use a callback function with a response of any and let me go inside this let me use console.log of response and save this now let me go to the browser and go here and you can see that 200 but i want to get the response header values let me go into the network inside the network we have many values only the exposed response headers can be captured in our response headers so for example you have access control all this we have but only few of them can be accessed so how can i access that particular response header keys so let me go here directly you cannot access that values whenever you want to access such values go to your api call wherever you are using a get or put or post anything for that we have a second parameter that is options parameter and inside this options parameter we have something called as observe property which will take some set of values here you have a body and you can even use the response so let me use this as a response property so what this observe will do is it will not only observe the result or the payload given by that api call 
even it observes the response headers whatever we have so let me go into our app.component.ts and instead of using any we can use something like inbuilt type called as http response and this response can be any you will not be getting the payload response if you want to access the payload response you have to use a property called as body so let me use dot body so that you will be getting the 200 records and let me use console.log of response with a headers property and this headers will give all the set of values for you but you cannot see directly by using this headers property let me go back and go to the console you can see some headers but they are lazy in it lazy update and normalized names and you are getting some random content but that is not the case we need to get all the keys so that you can access the values for that so there is a property for this headers called as get all or you can use something like keys so what this will do is it will give all the response header keys which are exposed from the responses so let me go here and you can see there are four properties which are exposed catchy control content type expires and pragma if you go into the network you can see that values for example the first value whatever you are seeing here is catchy control and you can see that value over here catchy control with maximum age of 43200 and let me go to the console you are seeing content type and you can get that content type as well so you can you see that content type here content type application json car set utf8 so in that way you can access all the values for example i want to access only one of them so in that case i can use something like you have to know the key about it so here what i'll do is i'll write one more console and inside this console let me use one more method called as get and you can pass a name for it so let me go and pass this content type copy this and put it over here and let me give semicolon save this and you can see the content type whatever it is returning from your network response headers now let me go here instead i want to show all the values for all the keys whatever we are getting from the response then you can loop this keys because keys returns array of keys whatever the response headers are returning so we can loop this and get the values for example i can use something like response.headers.keys and this keys is an array so i can use for each and inside this for each i can get the value so the key name which is of type string and i can pass that key name to this particular header instead of hard coding with content type let me remove this content type and let me pass the key over here so you will be getting all the values for that particular respective keys let me go here and you can see for catchy control maximum age content type application json expires minus one pragma no catchy so if you see the network just go to the to do's and here you can see pragma as no catchy and expires as minus one content type application json and you have something called as catchy control which is of maximum age of 43200 all that values has been rendered over here in the same way if you have any custom keys which are passed from the api that can be accessed by using this response headers to summarize this i didn't done anything new it is very simple to access the response headers you can use a option called as observe as a response value then you will be getting the response in a fashion of body as well as headers so you will not get the actual result instead you will be getting the body and headers if you want to get the actual result whatever that response is returning then you can use body property and if you want to get all the response headers then you can use headers property that's how you can access response headers in angular and here we are accessing all this but for example in our previous video we saw some request headers which we have to pass to our application but if you want to configure this every time for each and every api it is very hard to resolve that we come across a new technique that is nothing but http interceptor so whenever you want to pass same type of headers or customized headers based on your request and you have to pass for all the requests then you can use this interceptors 
so we'll talk about the interceptors in the upcoming videos and in the next video we will learn about pipe operator which is given by rxjs and what are the different properties or different operators we can pass to this pipe we'll see about map we'll see about filter and what we'll see about tap we'll see about switch map all this but i'll be not covering all the rxjs operators but few of them which is very important in our angular we will see them in our upcoming video for now th this is about response headers hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you